In June 1958, as the new season opened at the Catholic Church's Camp St. Malo, there was a new look. A camp paper, the Chipmunk Chatter, Counselor Jerry Rapola, one of its editors. Now, 62 years later, oh, we've released this report this morning. This new report from Colorado's Attorney General adds Rapola to the roles of former Catholic priest who sexually abused children and making him the third clergy child sex abuser who was a seminarian and counselor at Camp St. Malo in the summer of 1958. The summer, 10-year-old Bobby Bizzup vanished under mysterious circumstances. Bobby Bizzup was almost completely deaf, but that didn't stop him from having fun at Camp St. Malo. I, I really don't believe that he just went off and got lost. That was the story told to Bobby's family, including his cousin, Harriet Dudich. I think that he was taken advantage of. She thinks that primarily because of the presence of these two men as counselors at the camp that summer. Harold Robert White, who molested at least 70 boys during his time in the priesthood, and Neil Hewitt, who molested at least nine. White is dead, but Hewitt's alive, living in Arizona. He was among the last to see Bobby, and the one who found his remains a year later, high on Mount Meeker in Rocky Mountain National Park. He told us last year he had yeah, he nothing to do with Bobby's disappearance. You know, I, I did not do anything to him. A denial he repeated to us on the phone a few weeks ago. Even so, the National Park Service's criminal division recently opened a formal investigation into Bobby's disappearance and death. This report was hard to read. The report released this week suggests Jerry Rapola's sexual abuse of kids may have gone beyond the one victim who has come forward. It points to his pattern of assignments a transfer to Grand Junction only one year into his La Junta assignment, then a move into a chaplaincy position in Alamosa, a removal a year later from ministry altogether, and a requirement that he participate in professional counseling. It's one more thing for federal investigators to consider as they try to determine whether Bobby's death was something more than a tragic accident. But even if the new investigation turns up something, It'll be too late for Bobby's parents. They were devastated. They died always believing their only child simply got lost and succumbed on the side of a mountain. My aunt, she was never the same. Kevin Vaughn, Nine News. Jerry Rapola died in 1971 at age 33 after a long illness. The Archdiocese of Denver, which operated the camp, told us it has no records that uh, would shed any sort of light on this, and nobody working there at this moment has any direct knowledge of what happened. The Diocese of Pueblo, where Rapola was a priest for seven years, hasn't responded to our request for comment. There's more, including Kevin's three-part series on this case at 9news.com.